2024. The best athletes will gather in Paris. Billions will celebrate the Year of the Dragon with their friends and families. And SpaceX is set to send its first unmanned mission to Mars. But closer to home, and some say it's the most momentous program of the year, August 2024 will mark 200 years since the New South Wales Legislative Council met for the first time. The New South Wales Legislative Council is the first and oldest lawmaking body in Australia. So the 2024 bicentenary will not only be an important milestone for the council, it will also celebrate 200 years of democracy in our nation. Not everyone can celebrate their 200th birthday. So how did this happen? Well, we have to go all the way back to 1823, when the New South Wales Act was passed by the British Parliament at Westminster. It was an act for the better administration of justice in New South Wales and Van Diemen's Land, and for the effectual government thereof. Long story short, this allowed the Legislative Council to be established. A lot of changes were happening within the New South Wales colony around that time. The colonial office back in England had some concerns about the way the colony was being administered by Governor Macquarie. So, Lord Bathurst, the Secretary of State for the Colonies, asked a gentleman called John Thomas Bick to investigate every detail of life in New South Wales and the Governor's administration. Bick put all his findings into three really important reports, and they helped prompt the House of Commons to pass the New South Wales Bill. This established the Legislative Council to be Australia's first legislative body and the first real restraint on the autocratic power of the Governor. The first five members of the Council were nominated by Lord Bathurst, rather than through the sometimes colourful elections we see today. With then-Governor Brisbane presiding, the first Legislative Council met at what was then Government House, the site of the current Museum of Sydney. Among their early business was the Currency Act of 1824, which became the first act ever to be passed in New South Wales. It was quite a moment in our history and the beginning of something big. But while the first five members had limited lawmaking power, the governor still had the final say. Ah, uh, politics. Of course, over time, the council grew in size and its role and powers expanded. Its makeup also changed, including in 1843 when the council's membership became partly elected in the first form of representative government in Australia. Many years later, in 1978, the Legislative Council went through a big transformation to become the Upper House as we know it today. That was when all members had to be directly elected by the people across the state. This reform was a significant turning point for democracy in our state. But this was actually not a new concept around the country. While the Legislative Council was the first to be established, it was actually the last non-elected house in Australia. Regardless, the council has evolved into what it is today. 200 years is still quite young compared to our First Nations people's rich 60,000 year history. So the Legislative Council continues to learn from its past to better inform how it governs into the future. The bicentenary celebrations will look to a more inclusive future and feature a huge program of events. It will highlight the important role the council continues to have in carefully reviewing state legislation and holding the government accountable, including through its active committee system. There will be exhibitions, seminars, and various special events over two and a half years to mark the occasion. So I hope you can join us for the bicentenary of the New South Wales Legislative Council.